Hi friends, this is Sneha from SM Creatives and today we are going to design a, a very easy but pretty blush, watercolor blush and gold website banner or header, you can call it a website header as well, like the one you see here. So it's going to have these brushy watercolor marks, some geometric accents and some gold glittery confetti bits. Just a really simple but pretty and on trend watercolor design for your website. You can also use it on your blog or you can create this in a different size for your Facebook page cover, anywhere. So but today we're going to do a website blog header. Now to do to create this design we're going to use Canva which is a free online software and uh, you can use your own graphics to create it. So let's get started. First we'll head to canva.com uh, then we're going to click on this. We want to create a design and we're going to use custom dimensions. Now if you're going to be making this for your website or blog you want to know exactly what dimensions you need to create. So you can get this information easily by seeing your existing header. You know, whatever theme you might be using will already have some sort of a placeholder header in place. And you can see their properties to see what the dimensions are and feed in the dimensions here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dimensions uh, which are pretty popularly used in themes on WordPress and Square, uh, Squarespace. I have a few web branding kits on my website and I've done a bit of research and based on that research I've uh, come to the conclusion that this is a pretty good size 2732 by 656 pixels for most website headers. So this is the size that I'm going to be using today but uh, you should make sure that the uh, dimensions that you use are customized to your website theme. Okay, so we'll feed this in. By, make sure this pixels is selected because this is for digital design so you're going to go with pixels not the other measurements Works. Okay, let me close these now we have our canvas ready so you can see that this looks like a pretty typical website header it's going to work on most website uh, on most websites now let's get our graphics in now if you don't have any of your graphics uploaded already then you can easily add them i went to the upload section and i've already added my graphics here but i'm going to show you how to add your graphics so you'll open your folder which has all your you know graphics and you can just drag and drop just drag it and drop it into your canvas and it'll appear over here once it's done loading you can use this easily right but I'm going to be using I've already loaded these so I'm going to be using these all you need to do is just click on it once your graphic is here you just click on it click and drag to position it Go to the corners and stretch it. You don't need to hold down shift on Canva. Canva will automatically um, resize in a proportionate way. So if you just hold the corners and drag, it will be resized proportionately. I want to make it pretty big so that I can get all of this brushy texture. That's the reason why I'm enlarging it. Don't worry, these files are pretty large. So as you can see that there's no loss of quality. Uh, it's going to work on big designs like this. Do the same thing. While designing things like this, I always like to start at the corners and then build up. Now with Canva, what you can do is you can also reduce opacity. So you see this button, click on it and just adjust opacity because I want it to look a little bit softer I can reduce transparency right next what you can do is I want another one of these over here here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and click on duplicate that duplicates the graphic element exactly resize it and insert
now you can go on and place your graphics wherever you like and make sure that it's you know looking cohesive and pretty next I'm going to add some glitter now you can easily again you can just drag and drop it and there you have it just want a touch of glitter you can click on it again and it appears and there we have it you can use this this button here to rotate things I want to see the gold texture so I'm going to rotate it now I want to show you another thing uh, let's take this for example this now you can see when I move it over this it covers the graphic that's behind it but if I want this graphic to be on top of this what I do is I select this and just go to position and click on forward so that way this one is always going to be on top now it's quite difficult to see in this design because they're all pretty transparent and you know light but I just wanted to show you this position feature to uh, determine where you want to you know really place your graphics wherever you want in layers and duplicate that and add it here okay now I'm pretty happy with how the background looks or maybe I'll add some more glitter here you can never have too much confetti you know right so I'm pretty happy with how this looks next I'm going to add my logo like I have my logo already loaded here if you don't no worries do the same thing drag and drop now as you move Canva will show you these pink lines which basically means that your design is centered so you want to make sure that your logo is centered because we're making a banner right I'm happy with this now but if you want to add any more text then you want to go to text choose a type of text add your custom text you know use this button to move it you can make it larger smaller whatever you know you can add okay and then maybe we can put it in the center and you can use one of the lovely fonts which are already included now the fonts most of the fonts are free there are many fonts which are available only with a pro subscription which are demarcated with this crown you don't really need that you can use a free font like this and adjust the color you know again centering it that's it so I don't really want this text so I'm going to delete it but and I'm happy with the design how it is right so now it's time to save to save and export you just go to publish click on download now here you'll have a bunch of options like uh, Canva suggests PNG it's also JPG and your PDF if you're going to print something then always 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 go with PDF print because that's the only export which is at 300 dpi which is what you need when you're printing things but for digital PNG or JPG are both all right I'm going to save it as a JPG because it looks pretty much the same as a PNG we don't have any transparent elements here like the background is going to be white so I'm good with JPG and the size is file size is much smaller so your website will load faster so I'm going to go to JPG and click on download now oh, it will save your design and it will get saved to your downloads folder wherever that might be and here we go this is our finished design is ready 
and you know oh I just noticed that here we have the we have this graphic on top of the glitter so you know you can go back and fix that you can go back actually we're gonna select this move forward there you go now you can see that it's shining so now this is done you can save it again I'm not gonna save it because you know how to do that but yes, we have our finished design done and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I have linked to the products that I've used in this design in the description below. I have basically used this kit which has pastel watercolor splashes and some confetti and this kit which has metallic geometric frames. I've used the gold frames and to design this this is really easy canva is free you really just need your own graphics and your logo and you're done you know you can easily create your own graphics you can use this process to design other things for your website like landing pages or you know uh, slider images gallery images or big square boxes with like graphics which you want people to click on so there are lots of applications and uh, yeah it's quite easy to make your whole brand out of just these two simple kits uh, so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please share it with your friends if you found it useful and you think they might also find it useful and thank you have a good day